and just Perfect. one on coronavirus. Thanks. Sure. The EU, the EU, excuse me, is voting tomorrow to reimpose sanctions on incoming U.S. citizens. Is the president in contact with his contemporaries about that decision? And what does this mean for our own timeline for lifting travel restrictions on in, Imposing sanctions? Im I'm sorry, in, imposing coronavirus travel restrictions. Oh, I was like, that's concerning. Okay. Uh, cases per 100,000 mm -hmm. over their threshold for barring travel? Uh, not, I would say we are in touch through working groups and through a range of channels at the diplomatic level and through our health team with Europeans and others about travel restrictions. We have, we have no updates on, on the timeline? I don't have any Fair updates line. on the timeline, no. Okay, thanks everyone. Hey guys, what is up? And I'm just going to straighten my mic real quickly. Um, so yeah, uh, just watch the whole uh, White House press uh, conference that takes place every day. And at the end, like just when I was giving up, uh, like whether they're going to cover it today or not, you just know the snippet, snippet that I just posted it, that they are still in consideration, but there is no end date yet. Like I've been mentioning in all my previous videos that if they don't take any action soon, it's going to be very, very, very tricky, politically speaking, because, you know, if other countries are allowing U.S. citizens to enter the country and U.S. isn't allowing or reciprocating the same, it's going to be very, very messy, especially something like European Union, you know, pissing them off uh, is not a good idea. So obviously, uh, my prediction again is September 6th. There's a lot of being European papers that are coming in with September 6th. So the whole Afghanistan effort is going to be August 31st, after which they're not going to concentrate as much on it because, like I said, the president has also mentioned that 31st which is next Tuesday, is the end date for all this efforts and stuff. And after which they'll keep working with working groups, I guess. But after which they're going to concentrate on bigger picture, uh, on the infrastructure bills that, that were recently passed last week. So I'm very, very hopeful that uh, next week, for sure, we're going to get some update with regards to this or even end of this week. Um, last week, I, I believe on Friday is when we got the whole update on Canada and the Mexico land border. But I wasn't like expecting that because very rarely do they give any such updates on a Friday. But uh, I guess they did. So uh, is there any hope this week? I'm not sure um, because like like the press secretary Jen Saki mentioned that, you know, she's still not sure about it. Um, so given that this week is already you know wednesday is already done in the east coast thursday or friday i'm not sure uh, the next weekend uh, next week obviously i'm hoping that there's some update on this um and if i as in when i learn more about it i'm definitely going to upload just like this video right here so like i promised i'm going to upload every day on this news even if there's some minute progress or something that uh, you know it needs to be there a lot of people have been asking me you see the comments down below in my previous videos check out my previous videos as well so it's all sort of like you know build up to this moment uh, the other thing is that with respect to travel advisory as well as uh, travel restrictions so when you go to the link i'll give it down in the description below make sure you check it out uh, is that there is no correlation between travel restrictions as well as travel advisory sure that helps a lot uh, with regards to that for example uh, a lot of been uh, asking me whether brazil will be removed or other countries will get the same treatment um so brazil currently is level four um more or less for crime reasons as well as for um and coronavirus um, COVID cases as well. So both of them are correlated. So it's still in level four, it hasn't reduced. Whereas India, uh, back in April, it was level four. Um, and then it became level three in um, June, uh, end of July. And then uh, level two right now, with it's moderate, which still means that you, know, you can just exercise caution, which is the same level Canada is and a lot of other countries are. A lot of uh, uh, European countries are still in level four. For example, France is in level four. There are a couple of countries that CDC keeps adding uh, to the list bahamas and everything but you don't see bahamas in a uh, no-fly list uh, coming directly you don't see even united arab emirates is in level four uh which is you know um don't travel there but again <laughs> you see people traveling from there here so uh, this uh, sort of like i said just like how embassies are opening up and processing visas and travel restrictions have no correlation with each other uh but they're slightly dependent just a slight smidge so you know once india goes down whether it needs to be level one for this travel uh, travel ban to be open i'm not sure but um hoping that you know this update is going to come very 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 soon 
so keep following up the news keep uh, subscribing to my channel so that i'll post immediately as and when i know it because i know a lot of people are anxious so yeah um so that's all like keep the video really small so hopefully you like this video do hit this like button and the subscribe button and that is all y'all see you later in another video bye